You know what I was thinking about, guys? We are some powerful people. And I got to thinking, like, what is it that hold us back? For people to be so strong and can dominate pretty much everything, why do they not have power? And you know what dawned on me, y'all? What's our kryptonite? Money. Yeah, money is our weakness. That's our kryptonite, okay? Now, let me explain to you what I mean by that, right? I was thinking about BET. Y'all remember the old BET when BET was black entertainment TV? Like, it was literally BET. I remember one night, y'all, I was married, and I think my ex-husband was out over the road driving trucks, and my daddy had came down, and me and my daddy, I don't know where them kids was, I don't know if they was out of town or sleep, but me and my daddy stayed up to like 4 o'clock in the morning watching BET. I'm talking like old movies not no slave movies like they like the show i'm talking about just old old movies old stuff i didn't even know was a movie black and white movies they were good y'all i mean we that was like we weren't even talking to each other like we was talking but we was really watching tv like it was just like the coolest chillest time ever and just looking at them old movies and talking about you know what was going on at that time i was learning a lot but guess what? They sold BET. Listen to what I'm telling you. Say you create something, and you create something that is made for, you know, put your people in a position. Like, we didn't have no stations that was catered to things that we like, things that we do, things that we watch, things that's mostly us, right? So it was big, right? So here come them people. They got to buy it. Why? Because they constantly have to monitor what we watching, what we doing, what we saying all the time. So what they'll do is they goes to the BET owner and offer him a deal he can't refuse because think about this. That money will put his family in a position for generational wealth. But you forgot what you created it for. Do you understand what I'm saying? You created because it was nothing like it that was catered to us so if you sell it to them then what you think they gonna do take over put what they want us to see versus what we want to see and they do it with everything that's the same thing that happened in the industry guys like you got to understand, when them people sign the contract, say, for instance, okay, your boy, he, he he's, he's a local rapper. Like, he, he big, but, you know, he on his way up. So he a real dude. Like, he real, uh, you know, he real. So he's telling you, like, when I get on, I'm going to put y'all on. I'm going to do this in the hood. You ever notice that nine times out of ten, they don't do it? And the ones who do do it, they end up gone before they time. That's on purpose. See, when they sign that contract, they move from one of us to one of them. And we ain't talking about the skin, okay? So they make an agreement not to help a whole lot of us. Because if a whole lot of us get on, get on, get on, then who's going to hold the power? So anything you create that's for your people, once you sell it to them people, it's no longer for your people no more. And that keeps happening. Repeat that cycle, okay? Over and over and over again. So we stay at the bottom. If you create something and somebody wants to purchase it from you, you need to be able to say what it is that you require in that deal. So if you say, I don't want you to change the format of my show, of what I created or why I created it, 
that should be in the arrangements because that's the only way that you're going to have some type of paperwork that they're going to keep it, keep the same principles that you had. But see, the thing is, once you sell something to somebody, it's theirs. So pretty much they can do whatever they want to do. I don't know how those negotiations go. But we don't think about that, y'all. We think about what that money can do for us. And it's kind of a sense selling out. But at the same time, you created it to put your family in a position. But how much money is too much? Are we supposed to have all that power without abusing it? Can we name a few people that got a lot of power that don't abuse it? I don't know, y'all. I'm just thinking. I don't know. It was just on my mind. Like, we can never get ahead. As long as we keep selling ourselves short and, and abandoning the mission for money. We need money. They made the society what we do. But how much money is good? How much money is enough for you? You understand that? Y'all get what I'm saying? Because if you can buy all, all everything, you can't take it with you. And you can't be sure that way who you lead it to gonna do it, do right by it. Cause I know a whole bunch of people that they people died and left them houses and them houses is abandoned now. Okay? Cause ain't nobody wanna do this to it, and ain't nobody wanna do that to it. So sometimes, like, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. It's just it's a double-edged sword. And another thing. We got to stop being afraid of each other because I've noticed something with chosen people. They say, a lot of us have been saying, don't trust nobody, don't trust nobody. Y'all, that's a part of the program. You don't get to the point where you don't trust people. Get to the point where your, your discernment's so on point, you know which skin folk is really kin folk and which one is not. But we have to have a community, and if we're afraid to trust one another, it'll never happen. That's a part of the game. That's a part of the matrix. We got to be able to discern who from who. Not hide. I love y'all for real. Peace.